totally seals the deal. I don't know what's going on. This is, oh shoot, see I wanted to do sprouts because it's hump day. But I can't take it down here anymore. Well, okay, I could if I had to. Goodness knows I did it for my entire life. Up until I turned 50. Make that 52 or 53, I forget. Because first, I went to Red Oak to spend six months seeing just how off the grid I could handle. So I plopped a broke down need to rehab RV in the middle of a cow pasture, horse pasture, whatever. She had 20, 30 acres. I plopped myself down in the middle of nothingness. I had electric. That's what I had. Red Oak was technically not even Jefferson. Yeah, my whole, I watched the Texas cattle ranches disappear one by one in my area. And yes, I'm talking about my actual area. My home at one point was surrounded by pasture land that got developed because that's what developers do. Apparently I've stayed here long enough for school to let out, which explains the sudden, oh wait, no, lunch time. They've all left their cubicles. They have one hour, one short, sweet hour between the moment they clocked out and the moment they clock back in, unless they're salary. And then the company's probably paying for their lunch anyway, so who gives a shit? 12.06. The clouds are here. The clouds are here. They've come to cool things down and drop a little rain, as you can see, off to the, out the window. I'm still thinking that if there is a, such a thing as reincarnation, that I just wanted to come back in a time where a girl my size had a better chance of survival because I'm pretty sure that you know if I was around in the Conestoga wagon days there's a little marker somewhere on a prairie that says she tried she died or in some little woods or it's just something you know I've just always <clears throat> I have never had a problem, <coughs> excuse me, I have never, I've been down in the pollen, can you tell, near Mount Cedar. Oh my. And all three stops in conifer. successful. <laughs> Other than, well, successful, I mean, I didn't hit the pedestrians that walked out in front of me. Bless her little heart. Oh, that car didn't come out and smack me. <laughs> I want to go home now. This humanity is getting too dangerous. I'm gonna go back to the wild cats and the bears and the foxes and the elk and the deer. Yeah, I've had all the insanity of humanity I can take. <laughs>
life? Well, they can't do that if you decide that you're not going to slow your ass down so they can cross a road safely. There it is, still saying it. Let's see if it happens once I get to the pump. Or will they say, oh, we are so sorry, we forgot to change the sign. Look at me being all technology savvy. See? 344. Welcome to the world we live in now. You do not get my money because you can't be bothered. And see, everyone else probably said, oh shoot, I need gas anyway. Well, guess what? I have more than enough gas to get back down the mountain again. Now see, if I am gonna spend money on the stuff, I'm I'm doing, yeah, the hand crank. This, look at this. That is a Hobby Lobby price on a handcrafted original little piece. Probably not another one like it anywhere. This is where I dispose of disposable income. Ooh, and there's that smell. It just has a smell. Again, artist painted. Not cheap made in China. Machine process garbage. Again, handcrafted, not machine made. Okay, they might have used a machine. Anyway, support local. Hobby Lobby supports China, <clears throat> even though I shop there. It's hard not to support China in America these days. How fun is that? Huge. And there's my stuff. There's my style. Okay, I just want to stand here and smell. It smells so good. <laughs> it's Conifer's own bell, book, and candle for any of you good witch fans out there. <gasps> okay, I think that's worthy of John Denver. I think John Denver would think that's far out. It took me a second to remember. Oh, how cute is this? That's a birdhouse, I think, I guess. So much cuteness. So much. It was so totally worth. See, sometimes you just need to let curiosity lead you. So I found out that here, at the King Emporium. They do not get their beads from China. They are mined and purchased at uh, jewelry shows, gym shows, which is totally cool. And the local CBD plays. <clears throat>
carries uh, pet products and he just handed me all kinds of samples. So I'm very excited for the next time I have a special needs pup. And it has been a totally awesome me day. It's only two o'clock. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like ready to just kick back and chill at this point. Okay, that was hysterical. Speed limit 50, your speed 30. This little silver car. Clearly terrified of cones. Thought they were going to jump out in front of it and make it wreck. Back the hell off. Okay, let's see if they ride it going down. 